guys, so I wanted to make a follow-up video with you guys about the kit that I bought. So, just reading through the comments, seriously, um, makes me really sad and upset because I feel like, like I got treated. Basically, I got something, like, I deserved way better, you know, I paid more than $200 plus shipping. And, you know, I can understand that maybe it's a beginner and it would look like that. But, in other ways, it does look like maybe a toddler scribbled on it. But, veining, like when you do blue veining... You have to do it very thin and then you might actually think that you are able to like paint over it but the blue is so overpowering especially um, if you don't put orange tones in it because orange really neutralizes blue. And the veins were really thick, they didn't really have direction, the eyebrows were really bushy the eyelashes looked like they were ripped out the hair was like all sticky with glue it was like glued on and it looks like they tried to root and they only like stick the needle like I can count like maybe three times and then they just decided to glue it the painting job is uh, the painting job on the hair is not really bad in my opinion um like I wouldn't have mind if you know it was like like the whole head is painted and there was only like some hair rooted but the hair is actually like glued on it and then there's like dust attached to the hair um And basically, there is like some parts where it basically has too much blue, like in, in the foots. It had way too much blue. And then she did have like dust and she was like dirty and I cleaned her several times with a rag. And it seems like she's not sealed because the paint just kept coming. Basically, when I was like rinsing the rag, like the water was red. So that kind of tells me that they didn't seal it. So I mean, the way is good because I have stripped parts of her body where she had too much blue. Like the veining that I feel like is not looking natural. I'm stripping it and I'm still in the process of that. I've been basically washing it with soap and a, a little soft scrub it felt like it was dirty like the vinyl just felt like there was like some kind of textures in it and that's why i'm like washing it and i am gonna keep stripping it and washing it until it's smooth and then i'm going to reprime it do a lot of mottling, put some orange tones in it, and some skin layers. And I'm going to wash her head really good until all the glue comes off. I'm going to have to probably repaint her head because from washing the head, it's probably going to come off because it's not sealed. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a video right now of everything that I've been basically doing to it. Um, not like the actual doing it, but like the results basically. And then tomorrow or maybe later on, I'll start re, re, reborning her. Um, and I also got a comment, um, from a lot of, not a lot of people, a few of you that you guys are really my close friends because you guys are always there watching. 
And one of them said, like, you know, that we don't really buy Reborns to be fixing them. And that's true, which does kind of make me feel upset. But in a way, there's something about her that really drawed me to her. And it's like, even if she has errors, mistakes, like, really bad mistakes, boo-boos. Like, this should have been a boo-boo baby. Um, I really love her. I still really love her. So, I am going to fix her up and make her look like the baby of my dreams that I really thought I would get. So, I really thought $200 was a good price. But apparently not. Um, there's other babies being sold on eBay right now for like a hundred, and they look really beautiful. But it's like now I'm thinking like, okay, if that baby's a hundred, how's that baby gonna come? Like, is it gonna come like all dirty and like smelly or something? You know, like. Like, what's the catch? Because it seriously is too good to be true to be, like, a really good deal. And, like, in the pictures, she looked really beautiful. Like, you could not tell it was dirty or anything like that. <sighs> and the seller did say it was a brand new doll. Like, so I really felt like it was a doll. Like, they just reborn and they shipped. And that's probably really what happened, but... Maybe their living conditions are, like, not really great. And that's why the doll's, like, all dusty and dirty or something. I mean, the blanket that it came in is really beautiful. Like, I'll show you guys. So, the blanket that it came in. It's really pretty and it looks like this. I can't see here, but it's really pretty. It's like crochet. Or if you know what style of blanket this is, let me know down below. And I love this blanket. It's like really like colorful and baby-like. So I'm happy with that. But I did contact the seller, and what I said was, because my friend April Love, she was like, this baby was only worth, I hope you didn't pay more than $50, this baby's only worth $50, basically is what she's saying, that the baby's only worth $50, <laughs> but like, honestly, you know, everyone as an artist is on different levels of painting, so I guess I'm past the beginner level, because I feel like, I can do veining very delicately. I mean, it might slip up like a little bit, but I would never do like really thick veins, especially if I'm selling one <laughs> or doing a custom one or whatever. But um, I did contact the seller. I just sent her a message and I said, you know, the baby wasn't really brand new. Like you said, the baby didn't look brand new. It was dirty and I had to wipe it down several times. And it was just not worth more than $100, really. Can I have half of my money back? So now I'm going to wait till they respond. And at this point, it's like, I don't know if I should say I didn't receive, like, what I actually bought. Because I really didn't receive it and like... That new condition, even maybe if she never used the Reborn. I'm not sure why it was so filthy. But, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe they just made this doll. And <laughs> but the glue was, like, very sticky and it's still very sticky and I still have to wash the head like really good um yeah so I have worked really hard right now just to strip it like the parts that I don't want it and 
I know I can fix it. I know I can. And I know she's going to look great. And it's the only reason why I'm not, like, crying right now. But I'm not furious or I'm not resending her because... I really love the blanket. I'm serious. I really love the blanket. And I really love the doll. Just, I really love the doll. So, I know that sounds really weird. But, yeah. So, I really want to keep her. I'm hoping I can get half of my money back. And I'm just going to, um, you know, reborn her again. And remake her and make her look beautiful. And... Hopefully, she will turn out gorgeous the same way she looked on the picture. And also, it's really interesting to me. It's more of a journey for me because I'm pretty sure a lot of people bought dolls that they didn't look as they expected. And... They do need to have some work done and fixing. So, I mean, I would like to be that type of artist to rescue dolls and transform them. Like, I see some tutorials on, like, people repainting, like, Barbies and stuff. Well, I would like to not repaint, but rescue Reborns in a way. Rescue <laughs> Reborns. Because what's going to happen if I turn it in? If I turn it in... Is they gonna go back on sale or what? I'm pretty sure if someone else buys her, they're just gonna throw her out or resend her, and then it's just gonna be like the same pattern over and over. And I feel like the reborn deserves a home, so yeah, I will definitely fix her up so she can have a home and be loved because she's really beautiful. I love her eyes, so I'll show her to you. She's going to look very scary right now because she has, like, really obvious patches. But her eyes are just adorable. I wiped, I basically wiped away some of the eyebrow. I still need to fix this one. It's messy and then this one is okay. But her eyes are really adorable. Um... I don't know, it's just something about her that I, like, don't want to give her up. It's like, she's looking at you, right? And this side is, like, really bad, but, like, her eye on this side is okay. So, so for now, she's this baby. I will rescue her and change her, so. See, I took off. She had a whole blue right there. She had blue right there. So, yeah, I am going to be redoing her, and... I'm not done. So, this this van is really thick, but I'm I'm making some exceptions. I am gonna have to do like a orange tone over her. This was all blue, so I stripped that. I'm stripping this. I gotta strip that. I'm stripping all of this, like all of that. I'm stripping it out. It's really blue, really bad. I'm still going to strip this little dot right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm stripping that. I basically stripped all of that. And then all of this was blue. Like, all of that was blue. And, yeah, basically, I'm stripping that and that and that. And then I have to strip, like, the bottom of her feet because they're blue. It was way worse. I've been stripping it, but I still have to strip it. So, basically, I still have a lot of work to do. The so only thing that I can say that is beautiful is the nail tipping. The nail tipping is really pretty. Even on her hands. It's really nice. Which actually, I don't think I would be able to be good at nail, nail tipping. Because it's like, mm. Alright, you guys. So, okay. And then this is the hair. I washed it already so many times. Because it had, like, dust. And you can still see, like, it has, like, some dust in it. 
it's still sticky. I'll be washing it and yeah. So I know she might look really scary, but I am going to be fixing her. And hopefully we can see the results real soon. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.